So for today, we're going to be looking at the Heist Battleground for Europa. I think this is personally my favorite only because we don't really have like a like a ghost waiting situation. We do kind of have one uh, almost at the end, but it's a little bit different because you can actually make it faster if your team knows what they're doing. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the activity itself. Again, I think this, these activities are a lot of fun because they are different. Like the Europa one is actually different. So if you guys have done the first mission of the season, I did have I did put post the video up right now and the second portion of it if you guys want to see both of them. But if you guys have already done it, it's pretty cool. I actually really like it a lot. But you guys will also notice immediately that the beginning portion of the story was actually the battle heist, uh, the battleground heist for Europa. A lot of the first portion is just the same. So I'm going to be going through this a little bit faster than the last one. But essentially, the first area is the laser portion where you're going to have to like dodge the lasers, which I think is super cool. I really like that. Then you get to the main battleground, which where you're just fighting a bunch of enemies. This one, you can go really fast if your enemies just, or if your teammates just like killing it. You can go pretty fast because all you have to do is just make sure you kill everything, which is I don't know. I don't mind it because it's just killing because I'd rather have that than, you know, wait for a ghost to tell me when I can leave. I personally don't think that's a good one. Uh, it is one of my more hated uh, type of things to do. After you're done with this portion, you are going to have to go through each of the levels exactly the same as the first mission, just going up to Clovis. So along the way, you're going to be fighting enemies and whatnot. I'm not going to show it all because, again, it was part of the main story and you should have done it already. And if not, you can see it in these two videos again. But once you get to this portion, you again, just kill enemies like the whole thing is really just kill enemies which is why i don't want to want to cover all of it in depth because kill everything is really just descriptive of what you're going to be doing so once you get to this portion this open-ended area this is where it gets really cool because now this is when i notice like oh damn like i'm actually dying like what the fuck and not in a negative way i, I was like okay like i actually have to pay attention i have to make sure my build's actually decent because at this point, uh, my build wasn't that great and I didn't change it out because I was like, I don't want to change it because I'm recording this. So I'll just go with it. And I died a couple of times because of that. Uh, my dodge should not have been the dodge that I was using. The weapons, I was not liking the weapons, especially the sword. The sword for this one specifically is fucking terrible. Don't use it because the last boss is not good for sword damage uh, as I learned the hard way. Even my super wasn't the right one because as you guys can see, I, it took a lot of hits just to get this this boss to like not he's not, not even a boss he's just a yellow uh, bar so yeah this is pretty difficult when it comes to like survivability and whatnot I wouldn't say it's super super difficult but just be aware that you're actually gonna have to pay attention exactly like I said in, in the moon activity after you're done with this whole portion then you get to Clovis then you start uh, battling everything at this point if your teammates are really fast, you can you can destroy everything pretty fast because all you really have to do is kill the yellow bars until the main boss comes out and then you kill the main boss and you're not done. After that, there's actually another portion to it, which is why I was like, yo, uh, after that, after you're you're done, like battling everything, uh, you're going to have to jump down, which I was not expecting at all. I was like, what's going on? And then I saw it and I was like, oh, fuck, this is cool. I I end up jumping because I'm nervous I'm, that I'm going to get killed. So after this, it gets kind of familiar. You're going to have to go to left and right to get the the uh, the laser things to kill the the locks on the doors. And this one was pretty cool because it was more like make sure you don't get killed by the laser things instead of just killing enemies, which I was I was pretty cool with. I was like, OK, this is cool. After that, you're going to have to fight a boss. This one is a big ass shrieker. This is specifically the almost actually the same model as the one from the strike. I forget what it's called. I have the name up right now, but I was like, damn, I miss fighting you. Unfortunately, again, I had a sword and swords just not good for this. So I would suggest switching off from a sword. The only problem is our champion mods are pretty terrible this season, at least for me. Um, we don't have a special we don't have a special anti-barrier which is kind of important to me i would much prefer like a sniper anti-barrier that's like where i would go with but i mean whatever 
not really much to say about the boss all you have to do is just kill the boss uh, again this one does have the same thing where it does have uh, um, immunity phases but it's also the same as the moons where it's just uh, make sure you charge batteries and the immunity phase will actually just leave the only problem again is just your weapon choice just be aware that you're going to want something that's not close range so shotguns aren't going to be good uh, a lot of things are not going to be good unless you just kill them with a, your super and whatnot other than that i i would just stay away from the sword so let me know what you guys think again this one was a lot of fun i really really like this one as well i also really appreciate that all of them are different like all of them go about it differently so if you like for example if you like a lot of just enemy uh, variety and density i think europa is going to be your choice if you like something a little bit more technical then i think uh the moon's a little bit better just because it is a little bit more technical you do have to dodge a lot, a lot of more things but i would probably say the moon's probably the fastest one so far just because aside from the ghost thing everything else is like pretty fast so let me know what you guys think in the comments below again I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and don't worry we will be doing fashion i specifically have already done the hunter uh new ornaments i've already made looks for them and i'm just gonna tweak them a little bit more and i will most likely have them out by either friday which is tomorrow or mm, i want to say i don't know like by the end of this week i should have at least one fashion video but the fashion videos are going to be i'm going to be pumping out a lot because a we have a lot of armor this season i also am going to be getting the assassin's creed armor like not all of it in one bulk because i think fiscally fiscally that's irresponsible but over i think i'm gonna get two armor sets right now and then one one at the end of or in the next check and then after that uh actually that yeah that's it because i'm gonna wait for the arc armor a because i don't want to spend more money than i have to and because they're selling it forever so i might as well do that and yeah i have a bunch of stuff planned out uh we will be looking at the new exotic because i like it a lot but i will i will kind of like not talk shit because i love the gun but it's just kind of like impractical i guess you would say so yeah we have a lot of content planned for today or not even today for just this season in general it's so much content in my head so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later